Alrighty. Let's carry on, shall we? Hmm, which way to go? Never mind. <clears throat> As I was saying, I had a look around here earlier. And there's two sets of stairs that both go up. I have no idea where either of them go. Plus, I did fight all of the enemies in that room. Uh, just you know, get a bit of extra experience. And, well, ho I was hoping, clear out the room. Turns out they respawn. <laughs> As soon as you leave the room, they all respawn. So, oh well. <clears throat> okay, so I assume we're unsealing the elevator, presumably. What does this do? Bring me down the ladder over there. Okay. So we're slowly making our way up, and I guess we're going to use the elevator as a way to get between floors. <clears throat> Something like that. It's going to be one of those puzzles we've got to go through on both sides, I think. And every single time I go through this room, I have to fight this guy again. <sighs> the problem is, they are very annoying enemies to fight every time, because they love to poison you. Pretty much every time I get through that fight, I have to heal quite a bit. Anyway. Let's go this side now. Okay, there's a lot of brought down. And break that, which also at the moment does not do anything. Presumably we still need to do it though. It'll help later, I'm sure. Oh, that did some. It okay. <laughs> He wants us to go back down, I presume. First, what's in here? Oh. Number nine and... Decoding complete. We had the key for this one. And our reward is... Something we don't know what to do with yet. Hopefully we'll find a use for those at some point. But alright, we're done here. Actually. I just want to go in there for a sec. That's the treasure chest that I missed in there. You can see the little blue in that cubicle. I missed that. Hopefully I remember to grab it on the way back. Hope I can avoid fighting this poisonous bastard. <sighs> Get away from me. Okay, we're good. And the treasure was, I believe, in here. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of that noise. It's it's very unpleasant. Okay, so we've got a magical hat. What do? Prevents lost. I mean, the, the TV show wasn't that bad. Ah, uh, actually, defense is pretty nice, though. Who does I give that to? Tis the question, indeed, isn't it? I'll give you that. Sure. And I can also swap that other thing. To you, presumably? Sure. The one that I want to upgrade. <sighs> also, while I was doing this early, one thing I figured out, which is pretty useful to know, is that if you use the TP to level up your EP, it also refills your EP. 
So that's good to know. I think for her I'll be saving for that. She burns through a lot of it. You not so much. I think for you, Artley. Give you a strength boost and skill boots. Have I got everything from all these? <gasps> no, I haven't. Oh, now we can get that. Just a straight up deep. Because we've skill leveled up. Not entirely sure how, but I'm not going to complain. And combined with accessories. Ooh. Interesting. Cool. Okay. And <laughs> I've not developed anything with Momo yet at all. That's fine. I'm out of here. <clears throat> Let's head up the save point one more time. And let's head into here. Head, go to the lower level. Hopefully at the end of this place. Eesh. Well, this looks ominous. No! Fine. <laughs> you guys again. Watch the enemy closely and react quickly. Using the gears on these guys is actually quite useful because it means we have one part of them that can't be poisoned. <sighs> because, yes, they account for that, that the gears can't be poisoned, but for some reason, Cosmos and Ziggy can be. And that's a new ability I picked up for Ziggy earlier, which is quite fun. Kind of reminds me of Cloud's uh, Meteor Rain from Final Fantasy VII. Except instead of throwing them from his sword, Ziggy just kicks them. I mean, hey, it's effective. Alright, but here we have another dilemma of which direction do we go first? Veil. I think that's one of those healing uh, defensive items. And that is unpleasant. <sighs> Group of those poisonous guys alongside a tanky unicorn that keeps reviving them. Okay. Just seem like the enemy just patrols in a circle at least, which is useful. Okay. Operate elevator? Sure, why not? Doesn't look safe. Are elevators supposed to spark that much? Is this the button that unlocks the lock? Wait, fall out all of a sudden? Oh, Zohar on the thing though.
Shion. Look at that. Is that the one they stole from the ship? The Zohar. We must go. Hey, Cosmos, wait! Don't you go off on your own. Oh, I don't recall programming her that way. Methinks she knows something. But what's the Zohar doing here? <laughs> I'm guessing because the big thing ate it. I have confirmed that this object can be identified with a 99.99998% probability to be the Zohar emulator that was stored on board the Woglinde. That is pretty accurate. An emulator? Also emulator, yeah. Are you saying a real one exists somewhere else? Affirmative. Oh, so we know this is artificial. Cosmos, how do you know all of this? Great question. I never stored any type of information like that in your main data bank. You... You're the creator of that thing. And yet, you didn't even know about that? Oh, hi there. How are you doing? Commander Trevankov! Are you alright? I'm guessing no. Let's get out of here. Okay. That's not normal. No. Commander, your body's escape? talking about you think you'll survive through something like this I mean probably we're JRPG protagonists after that's all. right I, I was the one behind the disappearance of the planet Ariadne all that mattered was the recovery of the emulator I really wanted to play his PS2 games behind the deployment of vector and the military. They were really only pawns. But in spite of all that, Just like that day. 